It's time to talk about the commissary. What are they all about? Commissaries is, is, is good. I'm glad the health department has really, you, you have to, every, each truck you have to go to a commissary. It's just sanitary to do so. At mines, you get, I get ice, I get to wash it every day, I get to clean it out. It's, it's good, I have, I, I, I like it. I like the comm whole commissary situation. It's great. My feeling towards commissaries is uh, kind of one of unease. Um, the smell will make your stomach turn. Um, and also, we've been blessed to have a commissary that uh, has been pretty accommodating to our parking spots and also uh, water and other things that we need. Um, but that smell, man, that is something else. People are dumping their stuff. Luckily, we only do ice cream, so we don't have grease and things like that. So if you're an ice cream truck, you don't really want to be at a commissary with the, you know, cooking trucks because they have a lot more grease and roach problem. So we went for a more kind of uh, uh, ice cream specific commissary. We have a private commissary with only 10 gourmet food trucks. I don't like the commissary situation. I wish that you could have a restaurant and run your truck out of a restaurant. Um, I think that they're dirty. Uh, there's a lot of health issues with it so the way we've fought it is is we have 10 gourmet trucks with a really clean commissary and everybody's hard on each other we have a commercial kitchen there and it's a different kind of thing that we have going on we're starting to make these restaurants on wheels more than like a lunch truck taco truck type situation we use new equipment higher end cooking techniques than some of these other trucks and so we need a higher end facility and we've started doing that and they're building them as we speak. There's big commissaries being built for the trucks like ours. Legally, you have to park at a commissary if you're in a food truck. It's a place where you can dump your wastewater, you can fill up the water in the truck, uh, they provide ice, they provide uh, the garbage, they provide uh, also provide grease disposal. So it's basically uh, some place you keep the truck um, and you can use like uh, the, the sanitary processes you'd have at a restaurant. They have their the garbage, the grease, uh, refilling the ice and uh, uh, various amenities like that. Someone could expect to pay uh, about $3,000 normally for a commissary a month. Depends on where you go. And each commissary of, obviously is like a, they have different different uh, costs also. Average I would say about $3,000 to $3,500 a month. And that, that would be including the truck? Well commissaries that's required by the state, by the uh, health department. They're all required. You gotta, have the, you gotta keep the trucks overnight. So that's a, that's a good thing just to let you know. And the reason why is because these trucks need to be cleaned, they need to be sanitary. You need to, you need to, actually owning a restaurant for 22 years, you run a clean show. That's what it's all about. That's why I like the commissary. The commissary is you have all these trucks in, the health department can come to one location and check all these food trucks out, make sure that everybody's running their trucks the way they're supposed to be run. There's plenty of commissaries out here. You just gotta go and search and, and, and find out who's got the, best deal. I mean, that's what it basically boils down to. It's like shopping for a car. You need to find who's got the best deal possible out there. I like commissaries. I mean... I don't. They're gross. Mm. Um, it all depends on which ones you're at. Which, which, yeah. which commissary are you at? Well, we don't I'm, need to name names if you don't want to. Well, I'm in the city of uh, the... Uh, I'm out at a commissary in the city of Rosemead, you know. Commissaries are not going to be, you know, uh, the best uh, environment to be part of, but um, to have a commissary is, is I, I definitely understand why did we, we need it because where are you going to go dump your waste? You know, who regulates that? And, you know, I wouldn't want my neighbors, who, who, let's say they had food trucks and bring it home and dump their waste and not, and be sloppy about it, you know, and maybe drain it on a street somewhere where it just, yeah, whereas, you know, commissary you're able to have that it's a place to do all of this stuff see so it's like for me commissary is like a kitchen or not a kitchen but a, uh, a, a washing room yeah I want a washing room I don't want to have the washing room in the living room <laughs> that's just me uh, commissaries for me are disgusting at times uh, people just dump their waste wherever I mean some some are better than others I can honestly say that some are definitely better than others cleaner than others um, but I mean, just coming from a restaurant background where you know everything should be in its place, everything should be cleaned up, 
neat. You, I mean, san, you know, sanitation is a big, you know, a big part of the food business. Just you know, going around and seeing what you have to walk through to get to your truck sometimes is kind of off-putting. But I mean, I, I think you know, if there's some new ones that came out, if they were updated, like just a better way to dump your waste if it went right down in a disposal, you know, area instead of just on the concrete, you know, flowing into ravines and things like that. And if people were held accountable for just throwing their trash out the door sometimes, you know, it, it, they could be, you know, it, it, world. World, it could be a world of difference. So the know. rules and regulations at the commissaries aren't really health code status. No. Yeah. No. It's pathetic what they do. How do you feel about it, Steve? No. Yeah. It's gross. If I, I swear no, to you, no, you I have to it, legal, legally. You have to go to a commissary. Oh yeah, oh, you got to keep your truck at a commissary. But I, I would like you know where the where my restaurant's at in Redondo. I got to, I mean, my back area, my restaurant. I mean, <laughs> wish I could park my truck there because it's so much cleaner than at a commissary. To be honest with you guys, that's very yeah, true. But it's oh, a, yeah. I mean, it's a catch twenty two. Where you need to park your truck someplace, you need to be able to dump your wastewater. You need to be able to refill your water. Exactly. So I mean, the, but you, but there's a necessity. The guys, though, the health department when they go there, they look at this and what do, what do you think they're thinking? Seriously, seriously, when they walk up to your truck to go and inspect your truck at the commas area, do you know what they have to get through to get to your truck? Seriously, guys. Yep. For I'm, I'm not arguing. Know, what do they have to walk through? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I'm not debating waste. that. I mean, it's gross. I agree it with is. you 110. Yeah, it is gross. Yeah. Am I right, guys? Yeah, yeah. If somebody saw I'm what you went through, would they ever order food from your truck? I, you know, that's a good question, Tom. Because it's, you know, it's not to not to say anything bad about the commissaries. We just. This is just the rules and regulations. We have to park it at a commissary. That's the rules and regulations. Now these people, they clean the lots up. Don't get me wrong, yep. but by the end of the day, <laughs> it looks like you've been in a freaking war zone after everybody gets back. <laughs> yeah. Am I right, guys? Yep. Yeah. Especially on Saturdays. But oh yeah. When they don't have someone to clean it through the weekend, that's. Oh uh, no. Yeah. yeah. But they in, just don't have someone there because the because the weekend. So commissaries to the health department allows commissaries to shut down and just let the waste sit in the ground? They don't well, I mean, the, the waste kind of disposes of itself. I know, like, uh, Monday, at, at ours in particular, Monday through Friday, there's someone there to kind of spray down the sidewalk and clean everything up. I promise off. you, you can ask everybody it's the same thing on every Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Monday through Friday. So for someone starting off in the business, it's just pick the right commissary? Yep. Depends yep. on where you want to go also. At that, I think that's a really important part of it. You know, you, you, you can't just go find a commissary just because because at the end of the day, it's gonna hurt you along the way. Because just say, if you park, if you, just see your clientele, after you do your homework with your food, you know, your clientele from different areas. And if you wanna to go to that certain areas, you might want to find a strategic uh, commissary that can just go there and then you can, because sitting on traffic in LA is just not fun. And that's gonna waste a lot of your time. I think brokers are, a food you know, truck, so far, it's all they're, about they're great. I mean, I don't have any complaints about them. Brokers are starting to farm these food truck lots now, but you gotta pay a fee of 50 or 60 bucks, probably anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks to park your truck there for three or four hours. 